How do we describe our beliefs about numbers? Some numbers we're sure of. There are seven continents. Other numbers we're not sure of. Like, I think the average height of American males is five foot seven, but I'm not completely sure on that. And we could describe my uncertainty in different ways. Our thinking is fuzzy. We don't actually have a precise mathematical formula. I think it is this probability likely that it is this value and this probability likely it's that value. No, we have flexibility. So we just can pick any convenient model for calculation. Sometimes I might say, well, I want to use a normal distribution and I'm going to have the mean be five foot seven and standard deviation be one inch. And I'm pretty sure that that's a good model for the average height of American males. So I could have that be the belief in my head. But someone else might say, oh, I know that there's no chance the average is above six feet. I'd have noticed. So I think it's somewhere between five foot five and six feet tall. And I actually have no idea what it is in between there. I'd be equally surprised by any value. So that person would be using a uniform distribution for the description of their beliefs. If we're trying to estimate a probability, we might use a different distribution, such as a beta distribution, which has some nice attributes for calculation and is a good description of, well, I saw him succeed seven times out of 10 tries, and that information is modeled pretty well by a beta. So all of these are descriptions of what we call the prior distribution in Bayesian statistics. But different people have different ones. It's subjective. It's our prior belief, prior meaning before getting more information. It's the job of the data to shift our beliefs closer to the right answer, no matter what beliefs we started with. A moral for our times.